Hello, I'm Shristi and today I want to talk about minimalism. Minimalism is an art movement that started in the 1950s. It values extreme simplicity and its motto is less is more. As a human being, we have needs such as food, clothes and shelter to survive. However, these needs should not be confused with wants. People are like, I need this and I need that. We are always wanting more and more, expecting things from ourselves and others, which could be impractical sometimes. Sometimes there are certain things that we use once or twice or never in a lifetime. Or things that have no purpose at all. So, are we ready to give them up? A lot of people would say, no, I paid for it. Or, that's a gift, how could I even think of throwing them away? This happens when you are a maximalist or too attached with the material world. Things that no longer serve you could be real hard to manage not only by creating a physical mess but also by playing with your sentiments. Let's say someone very close gifted you a sweater that you wore once or twice but it has been in your closet unused for years. You are not ready to give it up because it was a gift and you felt too close to it and you know you are never going to wear it again. So here, you are creating physical and emotional mess. You see, a gift has a purpose that is to make you happy. But if you don't get a positive vibe when it is around you, you can toss it and you don't need to feel bad about it. If that's a sweater or anything like that, you could just give them to the one who would be really happy to get it. I've always been an organized person and I have places for each of the stuff I own. Although, owning a lot of stuff cluttered my working space and I had to invest a lot of time cleaning and shorting them. I've been trying to be a minimalist and it's about to be two years now. I've watched a lot of videos and read blogs about minimalism and how it has changed many lives. I separated the things that I no longer use and those which I can still rely on for many years. There were especially clothes and accessories that made my closet look so full but whenever I wanted to wear them, it didn't make me feel good about myself. So basically, it was worthless. I had a huge collection of dolls and hair clips from childhood which would bring back memories that I've been holding on to for so long. They were also gifted to my little cousin. Sketching, painting and doing craft is my hobby and I do it once in a while. I've always been good in fine arts back in school and I have collected few colors and markers from childhood which were filtered and found out that I have not been using them enough since a long period of time. And the reality that I'll never ever use them hit me hard. And then I decided that it's time to let them go. Being a minimalist doesn't mean you have to have a definite amount of stuff. Rather, it means that you can declutter your mind, your working table, your closet, your room, and your house by letting go of the things that is no longer in use. Just enjoy the space you just cleared out. Something that do not serve you, that do not give you a positive vibe or anything that you do not feel so confident with are better off cleared right away. Minimalism takes time and it doesn't mean throwing away every stuff you have but it means clearing out the things we already own and preventing ourselves from spending money on getting new things. Once you start minimalism 
it should be continued for a certain period of time. Once you get used to minimalism, you might find peace of mind like I did. Minimalism is simple living and simple thinking. It makes you focus on the more important things in your life, such as your career, your family, your interest, and your friends. So guys, that was a very brief introduction to minimalism. If you want to see more of a minimalism video, please comment down below or you can also email me. The email is in the description box. And if you made it to this, thank you for watching, keep supporting me and I'll see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.